Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Gears of War 3 Clayton Carmine action figure set by NECA. This figure set is part of the 7th series of Gears of War action figures and is also the first to feature characters from the Gears of War 3 video game. This set was first released in 2011 and I found this set at the end of 2011 at a Toys R Us and it was selling for $16. Taking a look at the figure in the package you can see the Carmine brother there and he comes with a uh, Lancer I thought it was came with a retro Lancer but it doesn't and uh, this figure set comes uh, with 30 points of articulation and uh, we have here some nice artwork of uh, Clayton Carmine over here we have uh, people who were responsible for uh, putting the uh, figure together and at the back of the package, you can see here a nice uh, picture of the figure. And uh, here we have a description of Clayton Carmine. And down below we have other figures from the Gears of War 3 subline. We have Clayton Carmine, Marcus Phoenix, Damon Baird, Anya Stroud, Dominic Santiago, and Augustus Cole. We'll be right back and have this figure out of the package. Alright, we're back and we have Clayton Carmine here out of the package and this is an interesting figure. Uh, just in the choice of accessories, the uh, design, uh, the evolved design I guess you could say, uh, compared to previous Gears of War figures. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the accessory first and that's the regular Lancer here. Now, I was expecting to at least see uh, the Retro Lancer with this figure, but uh, it does not come with one, even though uh, the packaging shows a uh, Clayton Carmine with a Retro Lancer here. Uh, but uh, it comes included with a regular Lancer, you can see here. And I'm not going to take it off the figure because I had a very hard time uh, fitting uh, his left hand into uh, the slot here uh, mainly because uh, Clayton Carmine's fingers are spread out and it was very difficult to uh, put it in there so I'm not going to uh, take it off and show you more details of the uh, Lancer and show you this much right here uh, it's pretty much typical of most Lancers uh, that uh, previous Gears of War figures have had and you can see the blood splatter pattern on there and it looks a little bit cleaner at least on the metal finish uh, a lot of the previous lancers have that uh, I guess weathered look uh, this one looks uh, relatively clean though so but uh, other than the blood of course <laughs> but uh, still a typical lancer and uh, another choice I would have thought uh, would would have come with uh, this figure instead of the uh, Lancer maybe b would have been the shotgun because he's got some shotgun uh, shells here at his side but there's no shotgun uh, with this figure so a uh, pretty interesting choice uh, to include uh, with this uh, figure uh, but uh, taking a look at Clayton Carmine in specific and uh, this is a big and beefy guy I guess uh, the elder brother of the Carmine clan you could say and uh, of course uh, his uh, younger brothers uh, Anthony and Benjamin uh, were uh, characters in previous Gears of War games uh, that uh, sadly did not make it through and uh, he Clayton here is uh, I guess uh, one of the uh, lone surviving uh, uh, Carmine brothers uh, very interesting sculpt uh, you can see the helmet here of uh, Clayton Carmine, uh, pretty detailed, and that's typical with most uh, NECA figures. Uh, they go into lots of detail, and uh, you can see the uh, blue helmet there, and it's uh, part of the sculpt. It's not removable or anything, uh, but it is articulated there. But you can see some of the nice uh, uh, design work on there. It's very cool. Uh, moving on down to the armor or what's left of the armor I guess in Gears of War 3 uh, the various characters uh, 
uh, various gears, uh, I guess. I have this stripped down version of the armor from the previous uh, Gears of War games. Now I haven't played Gears of War 3 so I don't know what the reasoning is uh, for this stripped down armor but you can see that the sleeves are uh, devoid of any armor here uh, whatsoever. And uh, in, in its place you can see uh, the bare arms of Clayton here and you can see nice uh, I guess a tattoo here to commemorate uh, uh, his fallen brothers there, Anthony and uh, Benjamin. You can actually read it here. Uh, there's Anthony's name and Benjamin's name here and R.I.P. below it. And a pretty interesting uh, tattoo there. Very cool. And uh, you got another tattoo here on this arm. I think those are supposed to be rounds. I'm not sure. Uh, that's what they look like to me, but it goes around uh, the entire arm here. And you can see what's left of the armor here. Uh, very interesting. He, uh, Clayton decides to deco his armor here, and it's, and it's got uh, in word, I guess, his writing, "Grub Killer." Uh, <laughs> very cool. And on the back, you can see uh, similar words here: uh, "Kill" and then "Grubs" on the other side there. And very interesting. Uh, also, uh, on the sculpt of this uh, figure overall, compared to previous Gears figures, is that they use uh, a lot of softer plastic now, uh, instead of the harder, rigid plastic uh, throughout uh, previous Gears figures. Uh, lots of soft plastic work, uh, especially like here in the back. This uh, back uh, part of the armor was formerly very hard, uh, but it's actually very soft. You can actually push it in on there. So. And the, the belt work here is made of soft plastic, rubberized material, and even the pouch here on the leg is soft. You can see you can actually push it in. And, uh, I've got mixed feelings about that. Uh, I really uh, was used to the harder plastic here. Uh, but uh, with the softer plastic, uh, and the only thing I'm worried about is actually tearing uh, of this uh, plastic here because it does rub against each other quite a bit uh, when you move the, the figure around you can see right here this uh, rubs against the belt area and I'm just uh, worried about uh, tearing uh, the longevity of this of this plastic that they use throughout the figure uh, but it's still pretty uh, nice and detailed you can see some uh, detail work here on the glove on the hand of course the, the belt it's very very cool uh, the legs here you can see uh, more detailed work and you can see some skulls there uh, right above the knee very cool and of course you got the uh, heavy boots that these gears wear and of course it's still got lots of detail uh, just different material like right here this is softer plastic as well so that can get uh, torn uh, over time if you're not too uh, uh, careful with it but uh, still very cool interesting design work I really do like the detail this, uh, again some of the shotgun shells there very cool on there uh, another thing uh, with these Gears of War 3 figures is that they've used some uh, evolved uh, articulation and some new articulation as well and uh, going over the articulation, the head does go all the way around and does go up and down, side to side, basically on a ball joint. Uh, the arms are very interesting here. I'll get remove this uh, hand here, but leave that, this one here. Uh, the arms do go all the way around. They do go out that far and in. And they do move forward and back. Uh, this is uh, the newer part of the articulation as well as uh, underneath the shoulder joint. Instead of having a separate uh, bicep joint, you can see here, it's basically uh, a pegged into, this, into the inside of the bicep and goes around the shoulder here. You can see the piece going around the shoulder. So very interesting design here. I'm not sure uh, what to make of it uh, as of yet because Currently, I cannot get the uh, the arm forward uh, as much as I'd like uh, compared to the previous gear figures. Uh, just uh, due to the bulk of the arm rubbing up against the armor here, it's kind of uh, difficult to get it very, very close uh, 
uh, the forearm f close to the body uh, to wield the uh, lancer effectively. It does. Uh, he does wield the lancer all right uh, in in certain firing positions, uh, but uh, not as close as I'd like. Uh, the elbows are double jointed, uh, which is nice. Okay, the hands are on a swivel hinge wrist, so they can go all the way around and in and out as well. The torso is on a hinge joint that allows you to go up and down here, but mine is uh, rather loose, almost bobbleheadish type of thing, but that, I guess torso heavy, you could say, and it, it rat does rattle around uh, when you move the torso. And uh, the waist, that can go all the way around. And the legs have the more evolved uh, articulation that was common uh, with later uh, cog soldiers and Lieutenant uh, Kim. So the leg can go up, down uh, to the back, and out to the side. And uh, you can see here uh, the rubberized material does run into the leg here, so you got to be careful with that. Uh, the leg does also rotate at the top of the thigh on there so that's nice uh, there are a hinge swivel joint at the knee so you can the knee uh, can bend in and out and the le lower leg can rotate all the way around and the feet uh, are in a hinge joint so it can go up and down uh, side to side and uh, has ankle pivot as well so improved art articulation on the foot and there is a uh, toe articulation as well so uh, that's kind of cool and this cuff area here is made of soft plastic so you got to be careful with that as well so overall a very interesting design I do have mixed feelings compared to the previous Gears figures uh, I do like uh, this figure uh, some parts I am not too much of a fan of uh, especially the arms here at the uh, shoulder there but uh, I could see why they designed it this way for, uh, for the bare skin not to break up the uh, the articula the design with uh, they don't want to break up uh, using the articulation joint there so but uh, very interesting this is my casual peek into the Gears of War 3 Clayton Carmine action figure Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.